So I manage my Chromebooks by the numbers that are on the Chromebooks right now. And every student that I have was assigned a number of a Chromebook. So when they come in, they know to get their number and they're obsessed about that. They want their number Chromebook and they know to go to their seat that also has the same number as the Chromebook. And that's one way I feel as though it's really good management because if I know these five students have number 22, if there's something that needs to be done on that Chromebook, I can ask the kids, you know, what happened to the Chromebook? You know, how did it fall? Did it something with Some of the ways that I manage what the kids are doing on the Chromebooks is I'm always walking around. That's something that I feel a teacher should do anyway, so it's really no different having the Chromebooks. But you always know when a kid is not on the right website because their head is sometimes bouncing so you know they're listening to music or they get this look on their face like they want to laugh so maybe they're watching something they shouldn't be. I look for light reflecting in their face because if light's reflecting, they might be watching a video of some sort that they shouldn't be. Um, you could just always tell it's like when a kid tries to sneak a cell phone. It's the same thing with the Chromebook. They have that guilty look on their face, so it's a dead gift. We've learned that having the Chromebook close to the door is be the best location, just so that we do not cause distractions within the classroom if when we retrieve the there is a the problem phone. with the Chromebooks, each teacher is responsible for logging it and calling the help desk to get it serviced.